um, of course, it doesn't mean that like everybody, there are some people I may not agree with. Um, of course, I would not say in this video here, you will pay, even if you pay one million dollars, I'm not going to say in this video. How do I start? First of all, first of all, I apologize because this video is very late and um, I said it three months ago, four months ago that I made this video, but um, it is now 13 November. <laughs> Um, to be very honest, I wanted to film it in Korea, but I just couldn't do it myself. Like, there's just too many things, and I was like, you know what, I'll just come to Singapore and film it. Please do not have high expectations for this video content, because, like, it's going to be a ramble of things. It's not going to be organized, because I didn't organize it. I have written down my points here in my iPad, and I wrote this in Korea. I wrote this down without a proper train of thought, so it was just like... Yeah, and there's no structure to this video, so yeah, I should just start the video, right? Fuck, okay, never mind. Just stop fucking talking. I'm making excuses for myself, okay? Anyway, if you hear a lot of rain noise, it's also because it's raining. That's why the lighting is shit now, but yeah. Okay, to start, this video is the Why I Left Zula slash TSL video. Um... I feel like, okay, so since I left all the way to now, it's been, I left in June, 17 June 2022. That was my last official day of working. Till now, it's been like, what, five months since then. And so I've explained this story like multiple times to multiple different people who I meet. Um, of course, the people I meet get the tea. Unfortunately, because this is the internet and um, I also do not intend to make this video something negative, um, you get, guys get the... Politically correct version. <laughs> as how I would always like to say PC version of things. Um, but as with, okay, to be honest, as with any job, whether you guys were a job before or not, uh, as with any job, there will be things you really like or really dislike about a job. It's like, it's just a fact given. Like, you cannot say you 100% your, love your job, like 24-7, because like, it's impossible. Okay, so the timeline of how long I've worked in the company. So I joined um, Zula as an intern in 2017. And I joined in end April, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I got converted officially to a full-timer in October 2017 or so. Yeah, so it was a six-month internship, but I took a bit of a break because I went on a grad, grad trip. Uh, and then I converted to full-time. And then since then, uh, I was full-time for about four years. Another part of my job is that I was also signed as a talent. But I was signed as a talent in 2018. Uh, and I was signed under like a four-year contract with them. So my contract actually ends... I, Ended my contract at the same time I ended my job. So now I'm not assigned to the company. But why you guys see me on the videos is because I work with them on a freelance basis. TLDR, there's a lot of changes since 2017 and 2022. But I was there since the start. Yeah, it's a lot. And I felt like, you know, after all these years, and I really progressed all the way to like the team lead and stuff. And then I felt, I just felt at that point in time like, mm, is this really what I want to do? Because uh, when I reached that role, I felt that I wanted to do more, but not necessarily in a company. I wanted to do more in my own space because luckily for me, um, from 2020 onwards, right, a lot of um, external work picked up for me, like hosting jobs outside or, um, you know, client works, like people work with me on my social media and stuff. And I think TikTok was growing, so I was actually actively, like, doing more TikTok content because I enjoyed doing it. Lah. Yeah, so um, because those things were going for me, I felt that, I had an opportunity to go in that direction instead of still sticking under the team because I'm um, okay. Let me tell y'all about how many times I've said, I'm gonna edit my YouTube videos. I'm gonna start my YouTube channel. I'm gonna do my YouTube channel properly. I said that since I joined TSL, okay? The, oh, by the way, the reason why I joined TSL as an intern, right? Or Zula as an intern, right? Is because I wanted to learn how to do video editing better so I could edit my own videos for my own channel. But guess what? That was 2017. Until now, I don't even think my YouTube channel is done properly. Okay, this video is like <laughs> any other one. Um, but I had to, if I really wanted to pursue doing my own videos, right, then I had to like quit my job like, because like, that was taking up a lot of time. And uh, I couldn't, I was like too tired like after work to go and edit my videos and stuff. Like, it's, really damn, it's really damn tiring. I know some people can do it. I for one cannot because like, I just want to play Valorant when I go home. <laughs> I don't want 
to use my brain already. I, you know, I'm tired already. I just want to go and play brainless games. I don't want to like sit down and be like, oh my god, I need to go and do this fucking video again. Yeah. So I procrastinated as I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a very big procrastinator. My, everybody can attest to this. Jai, correct? Yes, she nod her head. Everybody can say yes. <laughs> um so I decided if I leave that I can't procrastinate anymore because that I got no income if I leave. Oh hello, Thunder. <laughs> God is like, yeah, you freaking procrastinate, you never fucking do your work one. True, not wrong. Yeah. So um that was what needed to be done in order for me to do what I wanted to do. But of course it couldn't I mean of course I had to credit my existing role in the company first uh, to in order for me to get these opportunities because like if I didn't um appear on camera or like have opportunity to even host on Zula first, then I wouldn't have these opportunities outside also, right? Yeah, so um, I guess I just timed it when my contract ended so that like at least, you know, I completed what was due and what I owe the company so that I can move on to do what I want uh, in a sense. Correct? Yeah, okay. God is quoting me, why? The lightning is actually like, why, why, is he say, what do you think he's saying to me? He's like, why? <laughs> No, that's you! You're scolding me! <laughs> then he's like, yeah, you fucking bitch, you left me alone. <laughs> Can I put that inside? That's so funny. <laughs> okay, but... But anyway, um, I also had a long-term goal slash dream of going to Korea to stay for like maybe two months to just film and pursue my own content and just live there, lah, basically. Because I went to Korea in 2016 for exchange for like six weeks and I really enjoyed it and... In general, everyone knows I'm K-pop fan girls, um, and I also like Korean content culture, whatever it is. Um, so being there is something that I always had wanted to do. So I had to quit in order to do that. I could have taken a sabbatical, yes, but I did tell my boss at the time like, if I take a sabbatical, I know that I eventually have to come back. But I, if I really want to pursue this on my own, I have to make a f decision to quit first, so that I can go and pursue it rather than like have this like option like oh I can come back I can don't come back that kind of thing like I rather not lah so I have to like take a risk so I took the risk um, so I couldn't do that while I was still in the company just didn't have time so I left and I think I made a good decision in leaving for myself um, but of course I'm gonna miss the things I'll miss a lot are the people there so honestly the reason why a lot of people stay is also because of all the people that we get get to work with like, I'm friends with um, all the people that you see me talk to on camera, like Asia, Sue, Brenda, Fauzi, everybody, um, like, I mean, they are all really nice people to work with, and that's one of the reasons why um, it's enjoyable la, to be in a, to be in Zula and to work with all these people because like everybody is very helpful. Like, you ask someone for help, they will really give it to you. And like, there's it's really no like work drama politics in a sense where like they are gonna be like, oh my god, yeah, but like this bitch, like what the fuck, she asked me to do this, like no. Okay, like we all really know what it's like to really just hustle for your job, lah, in a sense. Yeah. Um, of course, it doesn't mean that like everybody, there are some people I may not agree with. Um, of course, I would not say in this video here. You will pay, even if you pay me $1 million, I'm not going to say in this video. But if you're my friend in real life, you all know. Lah. Yeah. But um, there's just some people that I don't agree with. Um, so that's just like, that's work, you know, like work is work. Like what can we do about it? Yeah, but some, okay, so down to the, the so-called tea that I have, like, I don't really have much tea, but um, just some things that maybe were also other factors of uh, why I wanted to leave. Um, I just felt that in, in the role that I was doing, I was actually doing quite a number of things. You could see doing a lot of things as a positive thing, like you have a lot of um, roles and opportunities to be able to like, experiment in your job like you're not just like doing one thing all the time like, you're not just editing videos all the time like I could do really a lot of things with my job but that made me very burnt out um, because I had to focus on um, you know managing my team but I also had to focus on my that uh, uh, doing the talents and the client work that came in with being like a, uh, a talent and stuff um, and it's not just that like a lot of other things as well like administrative things and in the way we work in Zula it's like you're like a video producer, but you're also like an editor, like you do a lot of things. So sometimes not everyone has this role, because I think in 
uh, a lot of companies like your job scope is a little bit more narrowed down lah, in a sense. You know, at the start when you join the company, you're like, wow, very nian ting, you know, very youthful. And I was like, yeah, I will do this. Like, any day, don't worry. Like, I will hustle for it, which I did. So the only way I could have got to my position now is because of my younger self. And the reason why I go and hustle so much last time is led me to where I am now. But um, now where I am, it's like already, right? Like, it's difficult to manage that now, I felt. Also, I think in the media industry in general, a lot of people in this industry are very overworked and very underpaid. But it's like a common, how do I say, it's a common thing that I encounter with anybody that works in this industry, not just in my company. It's not not enough money, it's like you work, you work very hard, but sometimes you just feel that, you know, uh, you're not getting rewarded enough, you don't have enough break, things like that. Um, yeah, so it's like five years of a lot of hustle and then sometimes you really just like feel that you're so tired by the end of the day you're like is it really worth it lah so that was me at some points in my career also uh, and then because my other aspect of my career picked up which is like the part about being an influencer yeah but um unfortunately no other way to say it besides being an influencer lah um i can do a lot more for myself and earn money for myself that is like maybe comparable or even more than i thought like why not go and work in this industry like, instead? Um, it may not be sustainable in the long run, definitely. Like, there's a reason why I stayed in my job for like five years because it's a consistent supply of income and I don't have to worry about like not being paid every month. That's why most people stay in a job. And for this, it's more of like a freelance career choice to go and pursue like independent content creation. Yeah, um, and I'm also someone who is very like, I'm quite selective on the things I do because I only want to do things that I really believe in or support. I'm not the kind of person who like posts about like insurance on my <laughs> platform because even though they want to pay me a lot of money, but I literally don't know much about insurance. I mean, in terms of believing in a product and stuff, I know that there are some things that I don't usually use, consume um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, so I have to reject and take opportunities based on my own lifestyle and choices also lah. So because of that, um, I cannot just take everything that comes, then it also affects like how much money I make. So at the end of the day, I weighed the pros and cons about having like a stable income, but you know, sometimes not being like wishing that I could earn more and stuff uh, versus just doing it on my own. And I thought that doing my own for now at least would feel like the better option lah. And if next time I wanted to go have a stable income again, I can in the future. Cause like I only am doing this for maybe like one year-ish until I see some success. If it's successful, then maybe I turn it into a company or something. I don't know. We shall see. Lastly, uh, boss, please don't take this the wrong way because I know you're watching this video. Um, I personally may not have aligned with um, some like changes in the company or like the direction. It doesn't mean that it's wrong though. I feel like as a company, you can decide whichever direction you want to go based on like the upper management and stuff. Like, you know, as someone who is not in upper management, I don't have much say, but at the end of the day, if you don't agree with how um, what your company is doing in or the direction your company is going, then you have a person has a choice. Have a choice. Have a choice on whether you want to stay or leave, right? So um, I think I was definitely aligned at the start of my um, career. It's just that I think when I I think when I reflected on it like in 2021 uh, and 2022, um, I just felt like the kind of content I wanted to do was very different from the kind of content that um, Zula was kind of putting out. I think Zula, um, at its peak, which is like 2018-2019, right, we did quite a lot of meaningful content. And I was um, doing a lot of it with Cheryl, actually, because me and Cheryl were uh, very... Um, you know, interested in having conversations with different groups of people. Um, though it's a bit difficult to do these kind of videos because like, sometimes you don't know what they're going to say, then you have to edit it in the video. So it's like, sometimes it's a bit of balancing that, but we also want to make sure that we put up enough of that kind of content lah, because that's what we kind of believed in. Um, but now I think the content is more, um, I think it's more like lifestyle, a bit more like, um, I guess, lighthearted, like a bit more like reactive, like people do a lot of reacting, reaction videos and stuff, uh, which is kind of like not really what I wanted to do. It's just that um, I think nowadays, like because it's a lot more fast paced content because of like TikTok, all these kind of things, like I wanted it to be, I still wanted it to have more conversational, uh, a more conversational element. I wanted it there to be more um, kind of discussion. Um, and that's like what I wanted to do. Lah. Yeah, but I think it's just 
a matter of like balancing what I want versus what um, you know people in the company want. Uh, and and I thought about it and I realized that like yeah maybe maybe what they want to do is a better move for the company then I just don't agree with you. Know? So yeah. Then I just decided that I wanted to do it on my own. Cause I at least I know I can I have control of what I want want to do on my own YouTube channel and stuff. So if I want to do my own whatever lifestyle lifestyle video, like my own vlogging like career career thing, then I can just do do it like, you know what I mean? I don't need to like think about whether people are gonna watch it or not on like uh so like nobody watches it on my channel, then it's okay not my problem one, right? Yeah. Having this pressure that like you need to put out a video that will have you know, always have views, like constantly like match up the views and like constantly be relevant. Like uh, it got a lot to me. It got to it got to me. It got to me. So I kinda just like took a step back from that. So there's no like kind of right or wrong answer. Um but it's just a personal preference that uh I wanted to choose something else or I believed in something else at the end of the day. Yeah. And I did try to make certain things work at that point in time. Like, definitely when I was still in the company, I did try to um, follow along with, you know, what um, the direction was supposed to be and what we wanted to do. It's just that, mm, at the end, I'm like, if I'm not fully happy doing this, then there's no point in me continuing to put out the content also. Lah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. Like, everybody please support Zula. If y'all like the content, please just support them anyway, okay? This is just my personal opinion, alright? I do not own the company. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, what I plan to do for this channel that I'm doing is like, the Korean content aside, honestly, Korean content aside, um, that is just, the Korean stuff was just literally for me to like film for fun and I really just wanted to try doing like more vlog, vlogs like here and there since I was going to be there already. But I want to do more conversational topics on here. I'm not gonna call this a podcast because I who am I? I don't even have a proper mic right now, okay? So fucking use a clip on mic. Yeah. Um but I want to weave in like conversation into lifestyle. So similar to what um some other like creators in the US are doing. Um and see how it goes. So to end of the video, um I am on good terms with everybody. Uh and maybe after this video, I don't know. Maybe I'm not gonna be called back for any video anymore. But for now, I am. Um, two, uh, I hope you guys can support me in my solo career. Which nanan solo. <laughs> um, don't know how long I'll be doing this though. Um, three, if anyone wants to be my editor. <laughs> I don't know! Okay, um, I hate editing videos, but if you don't mind being my editor, please send it to my email address. It's in the description box. Um, I cannot pay you a lot of money, I'll be very honest, but I can try my best to pay you a fair amount. <laughs> But editor also means that you sometimes have to come to my house and film a video with me. <laughs> Because I cannot do it independently. I'm so incapable of doing things myself, okay? Uh, and I procrastinate, yes. Um, and for, uh, for any clients that have already worked with me or existingly worked with me, thank you so much for working with me. And I'm open to any more clients who, after watching this video, would like to work with me for my YouTube channel or any of my social media channels. Um, want to happy, please email me as well. Email in the description box down below. And five... Should I start streaming again? Let me know. I haven't streamed in a very long time. Six. I don't know when this video is going to be out. But I'll try my best to edit it tonight. Try. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, seven. I'm sorry if this video was not the tea you expected. But did you really think I was going to come here and start drama with a company that paid me money? No. Obviously not. <laughs> like, hello? Um, I think... Even if I disagree with people, I'm not going to fucking flash out the disagreements on the internet because it's just like, that's between us. Um, yeah, I just think that in general, my opinion and thoughts on the people at the company have not changed. Like, love everyone there. And everyone there are really good people who really are working very, very hard to make things work um, at the company. Lah. So please support them. Uh, and some of me. Thank you. Okay, that's all. Um, please remember like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully, I edit it soon. Huh?
Okay, bye!